and we are back at it again. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Cardone Solutions Podcast. I am your host of the Cardone Solutions Podcast. My name is David Bradley, Senior Sales and Marketing Manager with Grant Cardone. Now, what do we do on the Cardone Solutions Podcast? Well, it's very simple. I'm going to go out into cyberspace. I'm going to find Grant Cardone's free content. 80% of what we do here at Cardone Training Technologies, 100% free. So I'm going to go snag that free content. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to dissect. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to analyze it. I'm going to throw some action ideas on top of it. And then I'm going to give it back to you with a little bit of my own spin on it so that you can take it and you can plug it into and get results in your sales and your business and your life. Let's get started with today's episode, which is this. The only three reasons why you hate the phone. You didn't think I was going to not break for a commercial, did you? (laughs) Okay, but hey, so we have a very special sponsor for the Cardone Solutions Podcast. Because we're talking about the phones and the only three reasons why you hate the phones, the Cardone Solutions Podcast today is sponsored by Grant Cardone's phone skills and communications workshop. This is you mastering communication. This is the key to domination and what everyone else has been calling the new normal. Okay. This is a perfect workshop that we're going to be doing for salespeople, for customer service agents, sales managers, and trainers. Okay. Here's what we're going to do for one day, one day only deep dive. We're going to be, uh, dissecting scripts. We're going to be doing role play. We're going to have practical application. This is where you get to work directly with us, Grant's team, to upgrade your sales process on the phone, get your scripts figured out, and then discover exactly what you need to do in order to pump up your sales to record highs on the phone. So for more information or to secure your tickets, head on over to cardonesolutions.com forward slash phone workshop. That's cardonesolutions.com forward slash phone workshop. Okay, now, Let's get into the only three reasons why you hate the phone. Tell me if this sounds like you right now. That you would rather pop your own eye out with a rusty teaspoon than make another phone call. As a salesperson, have you ever been there? I know I have. I've been there. Okay. Probably more than once. Okay. Add to that, that there are a bunch of people out there making a pseudo valid point about the phone being dead or that cold calling is dead or that somehow they have a more effective method of prospecting, emailing, cold calling, marketing, etc. Yet there it sits, waiting for you to use it. And yet, you sit there trying to talk yourself into using it. What is the problem here? Why is there such a disconnect? Why do you hate making calls? Okay, there's only three reasons why you hate the phone. And not only am I going to give them to you, I'm going to also tell you exactly what to do to handle them. The number one reason why you hate the phone is your mindset is all jacked up. The phone, for a lot of us, can be a source of fear, angst, doubt, uncertainty, mistrust. For some of us, we may feel like we have like no control over what's about to happen because we've experienced significant levels of rejection in the past. And unfortunately, we tend to allow that to dictate our present behavior. So you have to change your mind about the phone. It is not the same as it used to be. The phone, along with the market, and the way people shop and buy, it's all changed. So when someone is calling you, they've already done significant amounts of homework, and they are way closer to pulling the trigger, now so, more than ever. So when you can handle an incoming call and you can do it correctly by knowing exactly what they're after, asking the right questions, setting an appointment, and then following that up correctly, you're going to stand head and shoulders above the competition. I know I'm shopping right now for a pretty decent sized ticket item and I'm having, well, I'm having an interesting experience with how I'm being handled on the phone. 
I can even get somebody on the phone. Now, if you're calling them, wait, wait, wait. I mean, you are, you are calling them, right? You're just not blasting out a thread of email templates and then hoping someone's going to respond, are you? Because, I mean, if you're not making outbound calls, that's hot calls, warm calls, cold. I mean, you're leaving massive amounts of opportunity money on the table. In fact, not just on the table, like, Freaking everywhere. Like whatever reason you think you have for not doing it, it's going to boil down to my second reason. The second reason you hate the phone is you have no playbook. That's me politely telling you that you have no idea what you're doing. And I can say that with full certainty because I've been there. This is the primary cause of mystery and uncertainty. And it's why people hate the phone. Like you, you're literally making it up as you go along. Who does this? Nobody. That's who. Okay. Imagine an NFL team with no playbook. Picture a lawyer with no case to present. Guys on trial for murder and we're just going to wing it. See what happens. Okay. Think of an airline pilot with no flight plan. The purpose of having a playbook is to know where you're going to go. In the call and then having the confidence to get there. A good playbook will give you what you need to be in control of the call, whether that's inbound or outbound. And it requires three things. First is you need to know how to start. How do you open a call? Second part of the playbook should be about how to move that call in the direction that you want it to go in. And then also how to handle complaints and stalls and defense mechanisms and all that stuff. And you not getting all emotionally tied up in that. Okay. And then the last thing is you need to know how to finish the call, which means you got to close on something, whether that's an appointment, the deal itself, or anything in between. You never want to call to end without closing on something. This is a mistake that we all make. This is a mistake I probably made. In fact, I know I did. This is a mistake I made today. In the call with closing on something. Third reason you hate the phone is you're not doing enough. So speaking of sports, the babe, Ruth that is, not the candy bar, but the dude. This guy stepped up to the plate 8,399 times. Nine times. Hey, if you can name... The movie I just quoted, the two words. If you can name the movie, shoot an email out to uh, david at grantcardone.com and I'll hook you up with something. I don't know what, but if you can tell me where nine times comes from, some kind of hookup is coming your way. Okay, anyway, so where was I at? Oh, yeah, Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, he stepped up to the plate 8,399 times as a professional baseball player. Now, he connected with that ball 2,873 times, which resulted in 714 home runs, which means the babe failed 6,060 times. How many times have you failed? Remember in the beginning, we were talking about mindset. Failure, as hard as this may be, is something to embrace, not avoid. Better yet. There's a better yet, actually, come to think of it. If you knew that there was only one way to fail, would that change how you approach the phone? Might even change the way you approach life. Here's your quote of the day. The only way you can fail is if you quit. Courtesy of our Uncle G. The only way you can fail is if you quit. 
So you need to take massive amounts of action. That is the point of when I say the reason number three you hate the phone is that you're not doing enough. You got to take massive amounts of action. Knowing that you really can't fail until you quit means uh, there is no way you can be a failure unless you quit. And if you want to hit 714 home runs, then you need to be stepping up to the plate at least 8,399 times. In other words, get after it. Okay, so quick summary, and then we'll put it all together. Okay, number one, your mindset's all jacked up. Number two, you got no playbook. Number three, you're not doing enough. So putting this all together, phone mastery could literally be the thing that catapults your sales career. Phone mastery allows you the ability to be the cause of your day, not the effect of somebody else's. You can control your outcomes by controlling your mindset first, then having a playbook that you can fall back and rely on, and then finally stack those two things with massive amounts of action. When you do those things, you will see your sales increase to stratospheric levels. So here's a silly question for you. What kind of a chance would you stand if you jumped into the octagon with a UFC fighter and you had no skill and no training at all in mixed martial arts? Well, you're going to get your ass handed to you. That's what's going to happen, which is obvious, right? So if you hate the phone, how do you make sure you have literally a fighting chance on the phone and you're not getting your ass handed to you every single day? One word. And we talked about this uh, two episodes ago, Monday. The one word, practice. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. It's how you become a master on the phone. So if you do the following five things every single day before you get on the phone, it's going to be a good day for you. Okay, you ready for these? Number one, write down your goals and your dreams. Get very, very clear on your goals and your dreams. Make them big, make them fat, make them juicy. Your goals should excite you. They should be out of reach and they should be a little scary. Two, set your targets for the day. How many calls do you want to make? How many appointments do you want to set? How many demos do you want to do? How many proposals should be sending out, should be getting sent out? And then how many deals should result from that? Third thing is to train. I want you to spend 15 to 20 minutes every single day training, studying, perfecting your skills. Number four is you want to warm up. Now the babe talked about him earlier. He never stepped up to the plate cold. Maybe a little hungover, but he never stood, stepped up to the plate without warming up, without taking a few practice swings first. Never. Nobody does. Okay, what does that mean for you? That means role play. It means practice. Yeah, it's uncomfortable, but do it anyway. Get over it. Fifth thing to do is to debrief. At the end of the day, or maybe midday, just look back at what's happened. So far, we talked about UFC a minute ago. Those guys look at the film after a fight. Hey, how did we win that thing? Or, hey, how did I get choked out so damn fast? Identify what worked. You probably already know what didn't. Okay, what do you need to get better at? What will you practice on tomorrow? So the last thing would be what would you do? What would you do? You, right? You, you, I'm the one I'm talking to. You, what would you do if it turned out that by following these five little things every single day, you could increase your production by 30% in the next 90 days? Where are you at right now? Add 30%. How does that look? Do you like that number? Would you implement these five things if you knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that that is going to be the end result? Could you commit to them? 
The five things I just listed to you costs nothing but time and attention. And they could be the very five things that catapult you, as I talked about earlier, launches you, could be the difference between just getting by, having a mediocre sales career, and killing it. The choice, however, is yours. And if I can help, well, I got something for you. Because in addition to the phone workshop I mentioned to you earlier, because maybe you just don't have the ability right now to hop on a plane, come down to Miami for the day. Maybe you can't get off work. Maybe you don't have any vacation days left. Maybe you've been unemployed for the last two months and there's no way you're coming down. I get it, okay? So here's what I'd like to offer instead as a secondary idea for you, okay? I got two weeks free access to Cardone University in there. And inside Cardone University is a full suite of phone training, incoming, outgoing, prospecting calls, follow-up calls, you name the call, we've got training on it inside Cardone University. And right now, you can get in there for two weeks for free so you can start building the habit of these five steps of you making sure you got your goals and your dreams dialed in, that your targets are set for the day, and that you did your 15 to 20 minutes of training inside Cardone University. Grant Cardone has built multiple seven-figure businesses on the phone. And if he can do it, if we can do it, there is no reason why you cannot. So head on over to CardoneSolutions.com forward slash Cardone U free. That's CardoneSolutions.com forward slash Cardone, the letter U and the word free. Last thing, if you're getting some value from the Cardone Solutions podcast, do me a flavor. Number one, share it. Get this out on social media because if it's helping you, I promise you it's going to help somebody else. If you haven't subscribed already, thanks in advance for subscribing and throw me a review. What do you like about it? What do you not like? What can I do better? The podcast is for two people. Number one, it's for me because it helps me stay certain and focused and on point. But number two, it is for you. And I want to make sure that uh, you're getting everything you possibly can from it. So I'm taking requests. Thank you so much for listening. Have an awesome rest of your week and be great because nothing else pays.